Hi and welcome to Miss Gayla's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a really fun appetizer for Thanksgiving. It's our fruit and cheese turkey and I have a couple of helpers today, Kate and Maddie. So let's get started. The list of ingredients you will need for your fruit and cheese turkey are some red grapes, cheese cubes, a melon, a brown pear, some raisins, a red and orange bell pepper, and some wooden picks in various sizes and some toothpicks. The girls are going to go ahead and wash their hands before we get started. I've also pre-washed all the fruit and vegetables. To get started, you need to find, get your melon, find um, probably like an ugly side, and then just give a, a nice flat slice so that it'll sit steady on your surface. Okay, so now we're going to start assembling our turkey. The girls are going to start making the, um, they're going to put a cheese cube and a grape alternating on a wooden stick, and I'm going to go ahead and cut up the pear to make the face. Y'all go ahead. Just go ahead and cut your pear in half, and then we're going to adhere it to the melon like this with some toothpicks. I'm going to leave a little bit of the toothpick sticking out because we're going to put a few things attached to these. So I have cut some little feet out for our turkey fella and I'm going to place them right in the front. If you want to put some bib, bib lettuce down on your plate, that kind of looks nice as well. And then I cut some of these out and we're going to adhere those as feathers. Girls, you guys are doing great. I think I'm going to have you switch and help have you um, start helping me with the feathers, okay? Okay. Okay, great. The next step is that we are using our toothpicks and putting them just right inside the bell pepper, and then we're going to stick them right inside the melon, and it's going to look like his little bird feathers. We're going to alternate orange or red. If you want to use green, that's fine. And with helpers, this goes really fast. So now as I'm sticking the feathers in, sometimes it's a little hard, and that's okay. One of the little secrets that I found, sometimes they go right in, but if they don't, you can always put the, fed, the toothpick in and then put your bell pepper onto the toothpick. That way works just as well. There we go. Let's get this big orange one. Right. Yeah, put the big ones towards the back. Hey, there there we go. Look how cute. Yeah, I probably put something there. I love this little red one here. Oh, it's so pretty. And, yeah, okay, so let's turn our bird around. Pepper. And the same with the feathers, how we did the little feathers in the front and the big feathers in the back. Mm -hmm. The same with the cheese. So we take this. Yep, put, get your, your little cheeses and kind of put them towards the front and then put the big ones way towards the back. And see how there's not enough room here? You might have to pull off a couple of these so you can stick them in. Very good. And another thing that you can do to this little turkey is if you want to kind of mature it up a little bit, instead of using the grapes and the cheese, you can use a little bit more of a, um, a higher end cheese, like a Gouda, and you can use olives or a little pepperoni, so you can just change it to your taste. Maybe with the leftover peppers, you can make the gobble for the turkey. That's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, let me find one. I'm going to trim it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to stick it to that. And the cheese looks like his little beak. And the pepper looks like his gobble. Now we have to put his eyes on, and we are almost done, girls. And here's what you need to do is get your raisin, stick the sharp end through it, and then I'm going to turn the turkey around so you guys can see where the eyes should go. Pear. That's right. Stick it in the pear and give it its eyes. Yeah, kind of stabilize the pear. That's good. Perfect. Girls, fantastic job. And there is our Thanksgiving fruit and cheese turkey.